The Pro Act Know How, brought to you by Pro Act. Hi, this is uh, Pro Act Sam from Living and Working Abroad. Welcome to this vlog where we've had a question about uh, how is my domicile affected by Brexit? Um, mm, interesting question. Domicile is where you're from and uh, in, in law and in tax law it's slightly different but basically the, pl the country in which you're born is where you're from um, uh, there are other conditions and ties depending upon the nationality and, and uh, the residency of your parents but essentially where you're born is where you're from and uh, that, that is hard to change but it can change and in 2015 Cyprus brought in a law that says if you spend 17 out of 20 years in Cyprus then you, you become Cyprus domicile uh, the good news for that is that everybody who hasn't done that is not Cyprus domicile and a tax was introduced, a tax rule was introduced to say that non-DOM tax residents pay 0% dividend and uh, tax on interest uh, from their, their earnings. So for overseas uh, family and business investing in uh, um, or business and uh, holding in, in investments in Cyprus as a tax resident without being, uh, while being a non-DOM, they can earn a lot of money from dividends and investments without paying any tax. So this is good news. And uh, only when you get to 17 years as a tax resident does that become threatened. Bearing in mind that that can change if you have a two year break from Cyprus, the clock can reset. Uh, when you look at the UK, uh, there is no law that says and defines domicile. Um, in the UK though, they use exactly the same rule of thumb to judge. So if you've been a tax resident in the UK as an expat for 17 out of 20 years, they will deem you to be domicile and, um, and therefore you'd be liable for taxes. Uh, but uh, in the UK, your domicile doesn't affect your liability to tax on dividends and bank interest. That's determined by your tax residency, which is something completely different. So um, what domicile is important for in the UK is inheritance tax. This is generally when you die, you can have a tax of 40% on your assets. So if you are UK domicile, then you've got a 40% liability on your worldwide assets, including overseas property in Spain, Portugal, or Cyprus, or America, um, or Dubai. Uh, if, if you, uh, plus your investments, you hold internationally in any foreign businesses or, or shareholdings. Um, if you're non-domicile, if you're an expat and you're non-domicile to the UK, you only pay inheritance tax at 40% on your UK assets. So an expat who is non-domicile to the UK, uh, but owns a, a, a property that they rent or a, 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 they use as a holiday home in the UK, and it's less than 325,000 uh, pounds per person in value, then there'll be no inheritance tax because the inheritance tax limit is 325 thousand per person a year so this could be quite a good uh, investment opportunity for expats uh, a, a, a UK expat who leaves the UK and lives in a country like Cyprus for 20 years will lose their 0% tax on dividends and bank interest after that 20 years but they'll also uh, and they'll have to pay that those uh, income taxes on, on savings at 17% but the reverse side of that is that uh, they will lose their liability to 40% inheritance tax in the UK on their worldwide income. So um, you can have one domicile, you can possibly have two, but generally you've got one. And if you're non-domicile, there's tax advantages in Cyprus that you pay no income tax, uh, no tax, sorry, on uh, dividends and, and savings and bank interest. Um, and, and there's zero inheritance tax anyway. Uh, but if you're non-domicile in the UK, it can reduce your 40% inheritance tax liability. Expats need to be careful that when they become domicile in a country, they can acquire 
inheritance tax liabilities in the UK at 40% or 17% uh, tax on dividends and, and savings in Cyprus. Now, one of the factors to consider is that if you are non-dom when you die and your, your domicile is a third country, Belgium, Russia, France, different rules could apply. So um, that you're not domicile in one country could easily lead for you to be domicile in another country and for them to have an interest in your, your tax affairs on death. In 2015, uh, Cyprus brought about the changes in their law, but that was based upon a European law where it's a common practice now uh, under an EU directive on, on, overseas, on, on wills and, and how they, they are treated. And there has to be disclosure and tax uh, clearance from all the interested countries. So your domicile is a factor when getting tax clearance in, in an estate in the EU. So something to bear in mind there. Domicile is not your tax residence, it's where you're from and it can change if you're an expat living and working abroad. Um, so uh, ProAct for family and business living and working abroad. If your business or your uh, personal situation um, is inclined towards a change of domicile, if you're unsure about your tax position, contact us and, and we can help you more at our website at productpartnership.com or, or, or discuss it with us and comment with us on our YouTube page, Living and Working Abroad, or our Facebook page, and, and like and share it with family and, and business colleagues if you think that they'll be of interest again. and and you know we'll see if we can help those people as well keep the questions coming in and maybe we'll feature that next time a couple of things to look out for if you go to our website at productpartnership.com you can get hold of a, a copy of guides to eu brexit for expats overseas property business and pensions and we've got a a, a, a seminar a live seminar coming up in paphos if you want to come and meet uh, the team directly in Paphos, Cyprus, on the 21st of March, come along to that and we'd love to see you there. Thanks very much for listening to this. Like, share, follow, comment, ask us questions, speak to us soon. Productpartnership.com, living and working abroad on Facebook and, and YouTube. Speak to you again soon. Bye-bye. The ProAct Know-How, brought to you by ProAct.